everyone. Welcome to Japan Spirit. I'm Takashi Kawatani. And I'm Itadia. Today we have a special guest in our studio, Miss Ruth Mary Jarman. Miss Jarman was born in North Carolina, US, and brought up in Hawaii. She studied at Tarp University in Boston, and from there she was hired by a recruit company of Japan to work in Ginza office. And we will present this dialogue in two separate programs. Part one, Japan needs more Japan. is focused on three points from her first book, 33 more reason to be proud. Okay, so uh, may I call you Ruthie? Yes. Welcome to the studio. Thank you for having me. Okay, very good. <laughs> I was so lucky to find you because I saw your books and then read through the books on my uh, business trips. Thank you. And I came back impressed and I decided to, uh, I must have you over here. Okay, well, <laughs> here I am. <laughs> okay. Uh, since I, actually I spent many years overseas, mm -hmm. Malaysia and uh, other countries. Yes. And I came back to Japan seven years ago and I find that this country's, Japan's uh, uh, social values are fading away real fast. Oh. Uh, that is the original motivation why I decided to uh, start this show. But you say in this book, Japan still got a lot of cultural concepts uh, we can be proud of, yes. and uh, Japan's only one uh, concept, right? right? Why do you, as an American person, uh, feel so strongly about the positive side of Japanese culture and urge Japanese people to be confident about what they have? Well, I guess maybe you and I are similar. Oh. <laughs> uh, when I came to Japan, it was 28 years ago. Oh, okay? right. And when I first came in 1988, I saw many differences and mm. many wonderful things about Japan. Mm. And I still see many wonderful things about Japan. Mm. But what I'm trying to do in my book is I'm trying to remind Japanese people mm. of all the wonderful things they have mm. so mm. that we don't lose it. Mm. That's my main goal. Mm. I, I want Japanese people to realize mm. that there's so many great things about Japan mm. that they can be very proud of to in, the rest of the world. In your book, you, you, you write, you want to, let's wrap the, the negative sides or whatever. Yes. Because it, it, every country society has a, has a negative side. Exactly. Perhaps. You write something like, let's wrap the negativity with a positive <laughs> aspect, right? Right. Mm. I, I feel like it's kind of, you know, they say when you look at a glass mm. that's half full mm. or you say half empty, mm. there's two ways of looking at a glass okay. full of water, okay. right? Okay. Oh, it's half full. Oh, it's half empty. Mm. I much prefer to look at something as half full. It's your personal personality. Exactly. Look, because, look at the bright side of everything. Well, because I yeah? think everything that you look at can be seen in two ways. In two ways, exactly. And Many things about Japan, maybe from the outside, are misunderstood. So sometimes they're criticized. Mm -hmm. But actually, if you really understand the background mm -hmm. of why mm -hmm. Japan is like that, most people in the world will say, that's a great thing, you know? <laughs> okay. So Japanese people right. need to have confidence, confidence and need to explain <clears throat> more why. Okay. Okay, let's explain why <laughs> during this program. Okay, this part one, I have about three points or okay. questions I want to uh, discuss with you. The first one is about the Japanese language. Mm -hmm. In your first book, Nihonjin ga Sekai ni Hokoreru Sanju Sando Goto, translate uh, English, 33 more reasons to be proud. Yes. 30, 33 is a lot. <laughs> okay, in this book, you, the one chapter is titled uh, preserving beautiful Japanese is a must. Yes. Is Japanese language beautiful? Yes. How, how beautiful? Well, I think that Japanese language is very expressive mm. and Japanese language also reflects the Japanese culture and mm. the Japanese approach to life. Mm. So, in, so sometimes, instead of saying something very direct, mm -hmm. uh, in Japanese you can say it kind of softly in mm. a different way, mm. you know? Mm. Um, let's have an example. The other day, um, I had, uh, how can I explain? The other day we were in a restaurant and the waitress comes over. Mm. And if I was saying it in the American style, I would say, mo kohi nain desu ka? Mm -hmm. That's what I would say. Mm -hmm. There's no more coffee? Mm -hmm. Mo kohi nain desu ka? Mm -hmm. But from a Japanese ear, that sounds very direct and very like rude, right? <laughs> and then uh, 
If I said it in the Japanese style, I might say, まだ少し眠たいですねとか、もう少し目を覚ましたいですね。I want to get a little bit more awake. Then the waitress catches what I'm saying. Catches what you're saying. It's very high context. So when you read a Japanese book, You truly have to read between the lines、okay. because a lot of the drama that's happening is actually very silent, you know? That, that's、uh, Ita san is practicing. <laughs> read、yes. between the lines the other day. We talked about the Japanese language. <laughs> well, okay. that, well, that's、okay. a beautiful thing about Japanese right, language right, is that you express、right. something in a very indirect way. And that and drives a lot of foreigners crazy sometimes.、Um, it's just because they don't understand. Don't understand. They don't understand、okay. what's going on. Okay. For example, from section one, Kanisha no kotoba ga yotaka na nihonjin. Right. Japanese is full of having the rich words of appreciation. Right. And your example, this book you wrote in Japanese,、uh -huh. I'm sure. Yes, yes.、Uh, Japanese words for appreciation from sumimasen, arigato, osore irimas, osea na rimashita, gochiso sama deshita, otsukara sama desa ebun. Right? Is directly translated, you must be tired. Exactly, <laughs> but, exactly. But thank you for the good job you have done.、Exactly. Something like that.、Um, what, what's so special about Japanese words of appreciation, this variety? Well, I think it's, it's again, it's a direct style、uh -huh. of、right. saying thank you.、Right. So it's not just thank you, thank you, I appreciate it, thank you, thank you. It's I received, itadakimashita,、mm. itadakimasu, I receive,、mm. Mm. which is actually. Uh, if you really do the tsuyaku there,、mm -hmm. it's, I know, mina san, I know, no ka no mina san ga, konna ni kuro shite, I know, o kome o tsukutte kurasate, waza waza watas tachi no shoktaku no tame ni, konna o ishi mono gochiso o, I know, o kashite kurasate, arigato gozaimas. That's the long version, <laughs> right? <laughs> But, you know, thank you so much for all the farmers who made this wonderful food and all the effort you put into it, and we appreciate it so much, and itadakimas, right? <laughs> okay, okay. But the itadakimas, one word, Is so full of feeling.、Uh, It's such a deep word. Do you think,、uh, you've been here 24, 5 years, 28. For,、uh, 28 years. Do you think over the years the Japanese people are uh, 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 saying less arigato、uh, gozaimasu compared to before?、Um, uh, this I'm asking. From my extreme example, my experience I, rec I recently had. The other day I made a trip to one of the Inaka,、uh, one of the far prefectures of Japan. I was invited a speaker, and I went there with my agent who put me in touch with my client, right? And I, we had an appointment to meet in front of a station in one of the far uh, uh, know, prefectures. Right. When I first met him, I, I, I told him, Ah, Nantoka san. Hi, my friend. Kyoa, yoroshiku nai shimasu. I'm very glad to, to work with you today. Yes. And I was expecting, ah, sensei, or Mr. Kawatai, welcome to Doko Doko.、Um, it's, it's a, 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 let's enjoy today or something. Well, at least, Kyoa, arigato gozaimasu. Thank you for coming today. You know what he said? Oh. Oh. Just oh. <laughs> to an invited speaker,、uh. 20 years older. Yes. I sometimes or often bump into this kind of uh,、mm. uh, uh, extremely stressful, stressful or uh, 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 unimaginable experiences. Mm. Mm. Have you noticed that?、Um, I have noticed that, but one question <laughs> I want to ask you yes,、yeah. is did you get mad at him? No. You must. That's、oh. the point. All of us who, who want to cherish this right, wonderful right, Japanese right, culture, right. we need to say. Japanese to Japanese.、Too. Yes! You、oh. need to say, <laughs> Nani u t e n d e s ka? You should say that. Okay, I remember. I remember. <laughs> I, I, I,、uh, in a nice way, we're we working together today, aren't we? And、yeah. that, that's what I say. Yeah. That But might he doesn't be, seem to get that it. That might be a little high context. <laughs> high context because、then? I think that、uh, the, be younger, direct, the younger Japanese、oh, okay, okay. Uh, generation right, right. is a little bit more direct. Okay, okay. So, one thing, yes, I do <clears> notice. <throat> there, when I get off the bus, <clears throat>、uh, I go from Waikat, Yokohama City Air Terminal, to Haneda very often because <clears throat> I do many speeches. Right. So, when I get off the bus, <clears throat> I always say to the driver, <clears throat> Arigato gozaimasu. <clears throat> Nobody else on the bus says that. But、oh, when I、right. first came to Japan, good, good, good. when we would ride the bus with my、mm -hmm. children,、mm -hmm. all the older ladies mm -hmm. would mm -hmm. always say yes, to the yes, driver、right. in a big voice, Arigato gozaimasu, like that. I wrote it in my book. Yes, I remember. So、remind. that is something we cannot forget. 
So I try always, everywhere, to say it loudly uh, since so people remember. Since you are making that conscious effort, we should also do. Yes. Okay, that's a good advice. Thank exactly. you very much. Yes. That's the first yeah. advice I got from you today. So you have to do tete teki jiko. Jiko shinaito. Tete teki ni jiko shinaito. So you make must. A commitment. Yeah, you have to make commit. Sure to do it. Uh, every time. Every time. Okay, this is uh, supposed to be a surprise, a surprise to to, to uh, Ruthie. Okay. This is from our uh, last program, one of the last programs, Secrets of Japanese Language. This famous sumimasen. So sumimasen on the left hand side means something is not done. Mm. So what is not done? Apology is not done enough. Mm. Appreciation is not done enough to you. On the right hand side, clear is something is not clear. Mm. My heart is not pure, clear enough. Mm. Like a uh, crystal clear water in the river mountain, mm. uh, muddy water. My heart is still muddy. I have to keep thanking you, apologizing you, until I feel my heart is clear. Mm. So that's the kind of a background. It's very beautiful language. Mm. Uh, so I, I thought it's a good example. There's <laughs> actually another part of my book where okay. I called I called it Mada Mada Kang Aru Nihonji. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> and so that's exactly what I feel is that it's a constant effort to be more. Be more. Like more. my my thanks to you is right. never complete. Oh, okay, that, that's what I, I mean. I can never that's complete I mean. my mm. gratefulness mm. to you. Mm. What a beautiful thing. Okay. Okay. Oh. Second point from your book again. Okay, viewers, Amazon JP, you must buy this one, right? <laughs> <laughs> She's already published the third. Yeah. Uh, it's about the Japanese word kyosei. And uh, this section is Japanese planting seeds of community and cooperation. And the Japanese title in the section is Nihonjin wa kyosei toyu tane wo maite iru. Alright? So in this section, you introduced an example of uh, ATM. ATM. One day, if you remember what you wrote, yes. you were in line. Yes. And there was a guy in front of you, yes. but he seems to sense someone in his back is there, which yes. is you. Yes. And, if, and, for, and for some reason, he offered you his place, saying, please go first, even though he hasn't finished his transaction yet, right? right. So that is one. Why do Japanese do such things? It's a sense of community. So it's a sense of cooperation. But he's a stranger to you. So right? that guy, mm. he did one transaction, mm. and maybe he had another transaction he has to do and another transaction he has to do. Most places you go, mm. someone will be at that ATM until they're done, yeah. uh -huh. until they're completely yeah. done. Mm. So they put in their card and they finish and then ping, and then they put in their card again and they mm. do it again. Mm. But he was thinking from a community point of view mm -hmm. of cooperation. So when he's finished with his one turn, mm -hmm. then he shares with the next person, oh, and then the next oh. person will come in and share. Oh. So everybody takes their turn, and that's one of the seeds of community. That's what I think. So he feels it's not nice to monopolize all the time only to himself. I think it's Maybe more, share. yeah, he, he feels like it would be selfish oh. to continue <laughs> doing that and take away the waiting time of this person behind him. That's I'm sure, I'm sure non-Japanese viewers, if you hear this story for the first time, I think you'll be shocked to death. <laughs> because if you say the same thing in, in America, what would happen? In America, I think uh, it's very different uh -huh. because the American person behind you in line uh -huh. would never expect that person uh -huh. to switch. Right. So in America, the person behind is thinking, okay, should I wait? Should I wait until this person's done or should I come back later? Mm -hmm. So it's their decision. It's an independent decision and it's mm -hmm. up to them. Mm -hmm. Neither one of them mm -hmm. has an expectation mm -hmm. of this person should finish quicker. Okay, suppose I'm Japanese, Kawatani, and I, uh, I am drawing my money in the ATM, don't know how to do it. Then I feel very nervous because someone is waiting. So what if, if I say, uh, hello, please go ahead. What would happen? A to Japanese me? person, right? Um, I say to the American person. To the American person. Mm. They're going to say, oh, Japanese people are so polite. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> they're going to think, that's wonderful, they're so polite. Well, don't they say, why? <laughs> <laughs> they might say why, they might say why, but they're going to think polite. Oh. But then the problem is there uh -huh. that that person, the next person, uh -huh. will not think to switch again. <laughs> mm. So see, it, they see, see it as a very nice gesture. 
Uh, but, but he wouldn't wonder, repeat it. But they wonder why, uh, why, why not finish? You should finish if you want to finish, and mm. I will decide myself if I'm going to go and come back. So it's a very the 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 American way of thinking is, I'm responsible for myself, mm. and I need to decide for myself. Whereas the Japanese way of thinking is, I'm responsible for the group, mm. so I need to think for the group. Even between strangers. Even between ATM. strangers. And also, for That's some right. reason, I don't think Japanese people see other Japanese people as a stranger. Uh, I, so, see, so, so. I, I think right. Japanese That's people right. see other Japanese yeah. people as exactly, part of the exactly. team. I'm always feeling something at the back of my, <laughs> my head. Yeah, yes. Direction of antenna. Yes. American men or foreigners, whoever nationality, right. seems to have a directional microphone uh, yeah? Yeah. To, to be able to catch. Yes. But the Japanese spread the antenna all around this person. Right. Mm -hmm. I thought it's a beautiful uh, Thank you. analogy. I really thought about that. <laughs> I really <laughs> thought about that. That's exactly how I feel. The Always I, I keep my antenna non-directional, omnidirectional. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is because ah. in the U.S., mm. there are so many different people and from so many different backgrounds and so many different languages ah. that you <clears> must <throat> be very <clears throat> focused <clears throat> on what focused. you think. Whereas ah. in Japan, ah. there's this thing called joshiki, which right. is like a, an ah. understood uh, act, action, action, right? right? So you always have to be sending your antenna ah. this way ah. to make sure that you are in the same ah. sort of rhythm. A rhythm. Whereas in the U.S., ah, there's yeah, so yeah. many different rhythms. You find your own rhythm. Next example, <laughs> which is also very uh, revealing. Yeah? Thank you. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy that you like How it. How many days I spent in Bangkok? Oh, thank you. I, I put my, my whole heart sure, are in this I'm book. Sure. You know. just, my whole a, heart is there. Parking lot. Yes. Parking space. Yes. Uh, one day you went to, this is uh, Hawaii or somewhere uh -huh. in Hawaii. America. Yes. Yeah? <clears throat> you try to park your car, mm -hmm. and of course you park asking someone who looks like leaving. Yes. Are you leaving? Yes, I am. Then you follow the car, yes. the guy, yes. and you park. That's yes. normal. Right. But you were very shocked to hear about the story about a Japanese company in Japan. Yes. This CEO is telling the whole employees, maybe himself of course, to make sure not to park the car near the entrance of the car park. Yes. And because usually the handicapped people exactly. or senior mm -hmm. citizens yeah. may find it convenient to park a car because he can get, they can get yeah. away yes. faster. Yes. When you hear the story, you're so surprised. Yes. Is this a case also of a sense of community, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, it gets back to the antenna too. Antenna. So mm. in the U.S. or mm. in other countries, mm. it's clear. Mm. This is the handicapped place where mm. people, disabled people mm. park, mm. so it's clearly marked, mm -hmm. and then everywhere else is open. Mm. So no one would think about, mm. oh, that's oh. right, older mm -hmm. people would mm. want to be closer, mm. so let me park in the back. Mm. It, it just wouldn't occur to you. Uh. But in Japan, your antennas are always on the outside, so you uh. think of the community first, uh. and you think before you act, uh. you think about how is my action going to affect, affect other people. Other people. So I think it's kind of like a different type of yoyu, like a different type of peace of mind in Japan, mm -hmm. because you mm -hmm. have the, I, mm -hmm. I think it's a luxury, mm -hmm. you have the luxury to think about how your action exactly. is going to affect, someone, affect else someone else before you move. Mm -hmm. Whereas in the U.S., we have a lot of pressure to always okay. move. Mm -hmm. It's a luxury of a monocultural uh, same value shared uh, uh, culture. It, it's things, I'm, maybe in other countries they might have it, but in India, mm, China, mm, places mm. I've been, they did not have it. Okay, but okay. in Japan, you have this mm, set mm, kind mm, of mm. joshiki, mm -hmm. like, a, like a status quo, status like, quo. A, like a rule that everybody mm. kind of follows. Mm. And so you need to keep aware of whether you're following that joshiki or not. Uh, regarding that example, you're, 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 you wrapped up those examples in your book by writing, by saying, once even foreign people know Japanese kyosei or sense of community cooperation, yes. Yes. everyone starts to adopt it in his daily life habit. Right. Do foreigners also can adopt that? Yeah. If you see now in Japan, uh -huh. when you are at the station, uh -huh. Right now, there's many foreigners, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. There's many foreigners on the platform mm -hmm. when the train comes. Mm -hmm. But all the foreigners stand to the side of the door, mm -hmm. and they line up, mm -hmm. and they let everybody get off the train, and mm -hmm. then they move in. Mm -hmm. So once, it doesn't matter who they are, mm -hmm. once a non-Japanese person mm -hmm. sees the Japanese, sees style, Japanese style, they think, 
that's good. I want to do that. So I I feel like uh, right now we don't see a huge increase in crime in Japan, even though there's many non-Japanese coming, because all of us here in Japan we're very grateful. There's low crime, so we don't want crime either, right? We don't want crime. Good so habits. We want to. Everyone wants to adopt exactly, it. Exactly. We want to adopt it. Fukushima tsunami uh, 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 nuclear disaster. Yes. Uh, U.S. forty-five million dollars after tsunami mm-hmm. hit those eastern coastal yeah. prefectures. Forty-five million dollars U.S. got returned mm-hmm. after that tsunami, and people found money. In cash and safes, yeah, and personally brought the money right. to local government office. Yes, on this in this book also, mm-hmm. you wrote that the Japanese have a have this strange morality and insight, and such micro level moral power of each Japanese individual right. has created macro level national level moral power. Yes, can you elaborate? Well, I mean, that's exactly what you that's said. Right. That's exactly what I think. So I think that uh, the constant teaching from uh, a very early age uh, of always think of others before you act mm. ends up becoming a natural macroeconomic mm. overhanging mm. sense of morality. Mm. So when kids are little, mm. they clean the classrooms together mm. and they cooperate with each right, other and right. you have nantoka han and everybody mm-hmm. takes a turn right, and right. you know there's toban and all mm-hmm. that kind of stuff, right? So everybody learns to cooperate mm-hmm. and they learn that my action mm-hmm. directly affects your action, mm-hmm. right? My action affects you. Your action affects me. Okay. So when you realize that, when you grow up and you become an adult, you think Oh, if I steal this money, some obachan is not going to have the money that she needs. So you take it back, right? So yeah, it grows into a macro. In page one hundred eight, you you says you says this kind of community sense of community emerges in bad times in Japan. Yeah. Overseas, individualistic behaviors emerge in bad times. Yes. Other countries must learn, therefore, from the significance of this. Behavior. Yeah, yeah. I, I also think that also it has a lot to do with a lot of the background. It's not necessarily an individual thing, mm, mm. like we were speaking mm. about earlier. Mm, mm. I think it's a sense of must survive. Mm. So in the U.S., there was a very large okay. um, hurricane called All Katrina right, right, in right, New Orleans, right. and after New Orleans, everybody is trying to find things and get mm. things mm. because they were not prepared. Mm. A lot of the problem was mm. with the government. Uh-huh. So I feel like it's kind of like. For the individual, you have to fend for yourself. Whereas in Japan, the first reaction is let's go talk to the neighbor and let's right. let's figure right. out what yes. to do with the neighbors. There's more like a community kind of response. After that, you wrote, therefore, by learning the backbone of this mentality, and by absorbing this special spirituality of Japan, I want to become a person who is able to assimilate into Japanese. Have you gotten anywhere near that goal? Well, I think that you know, assimilate is maybe the right word, but it's、uh, more like I want to be able to have my American identity、uh-huh. and also add on, add on the good things about Japan. So, what I talk about, at least what I think about the U.S.,、mm. is that we need to put a lot more effort into very early education.、Mm. So from the very early ages, and I think that the way that early education、mm. is done in Japan、mm. is very good because it builds、mm. a sense of、mm. uh, community and、mm. teamwork. In、mm. the U.S., everybody has a team, like、mm. American football,、mm. baseball,、uh-huh. soccer,、right. and so that team spirit、uh-huh. is very much there.、Mm-hmm. But I would like to have the team spirit among the whole population.、Mm. Uh-huh. If we could do that, then it's something similar to what Japan is.、Okay. Japan is like the whole country is bukatsu. <laughs> <laughs> Can you translate "bukatsu" in English? Look at that! It's like the whole country Students, is on the same team, same team. like a team a athletic body. Yeah, yeah, like, okay, yeah. All right. And that's a really good thing. The whole country is "bukatsu." Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> like <laughs> team, team Japan. It's like a team Japan, exactly. exactly. It's good. I think I'm, I'm a foreigner too. Is it too late to learn this? It's because it's not going to happen <laughs> overnight, and you have a sense of. You know awareness about everything, what you do,、uh, your action, like affect many people around you. Maybe is is it、uh, easy to learn? Too late? Is it too late to learn、mm. that? No, it's never too late.、Mm. 
And I think that that's where I want to tell and ask mm -hmm. Japanese people to remember what they have, this wonderful sense mm -hmm. of community. And when they go overseas or when they're in Japan, that they make sure to remind each other about it and live it so that other people around them can see how they're living. Mm, so it starts from us. So from if, us. If, if I go out, I move out of Japan and I want to implement implement yes. that mm. in my country maybe mm. it's it's mm. too you know i can't do that because it's just by myself but so that, see, that's, i cannot affect yes. maybe i thought like i think i cannot affect people because they will, will see you weird or i'm gonna lost i'm gonna miss some chains you know but that's where we talked about the mm. tane mm. that's where you plant the seed uh, because yeah. to make a change uh mm. you can never make a change from the top down it has to be yeah. from a little yeah. bit mm. here and there so, do you like to vote? Have you ever voted? Yes. Okay, so a lot of people think, if I put my one vote, it's not gonna make a difference. It, mm -hmm. Just one little me, that's yes. not gonna make a difference. Yes, yes. But the point is, mm -hmm. you must participate and you yes. must vote that's right. because that's part of the democratic process, right? Oh, and yes, maybe yes. my vote is not gonna put, you know, Obama into office, yes, yes. but my, my action of voting is part of the participation, right? So when you go back to your home country and you do something that's kind of like a Japanese manner mm -hmm. that you thought was good, yes. everyone around you is going to be like, hmm, that's weird. But maybe it plants a seed, you know? Yeah. And maybe it moves to some other change. Uh, today we talked about uh, <clears throat> some of the examples where Japan can be uh, proud of with uh, Miss Ruthie's personal experiences. And uh, in the next program we'll be moving on to the strategies, how to spread the goodness of, of, uh, of Japan. So thank you very much, uh, uh, Ms. Jaman, for your thoughts, for Japanese people to re reflect upon. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. And see you in a part two. Until next time, goodbye. goodbye.